Hey guys, this is Diamond Effects. Today I'm going to be doing another beatbox tutorial. It is on the lip roll and all the variations of it, so it's going to be a pretty long video, so stick around. Okay. Okay, so the lip roll is... Okay, the lip rolls that I'm going to go over today there's pretty much all of them that I can do. Uh, I don't know if there's any other ones, but yeah, there's just a lot of them. So the like, first one is just the basic lip roll. And then the next one is just a longer one like the. And then the next one is the hollow lip roll. I just learned this one. And I can only do it in beats. It's really weird. But, and then, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. There's like vocalized ones like. But I'm not really going to teach you that. It's not that hard. But yeah, so... First of all, for the very first lip roll, which is the... That's what that's the one you're going to want to learn first. So, what you have to do... You have to get the dominant side that you beatbox on. Like, for me, it's the right side. But some people do it on the left. Like, if I try doing lip rolls on my left side... then it sounds like that, but that side works perfectly. And it will sound like this if you're, as you're trying. If it sounds like that, you're gonna get it, just trust me. If you keep on, it's just one of those sounds, like the Calyx Muscle one I did, it just comes to you, just randomly. Like I was in my kitchen doing chores, and I was like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Watch your profanity. And then, yeah, and then I started working up from there and getting better at it and everything. So, yeah. Okay, so what you need to do is just find that crease where your lips, um, and then just tighten your lips like this. And just make like some weird smile thing, like this. And then focus that to one side. And then once you do that, it'll probably sound like that at first. That's how it sounds at first, once you get it. And then, it'll probably evolve into that, and then, I'm gonna start getting it looser and like, more involved. So, yeah, you can just keep on practicing that little thing. Like, just keep going. That's pretty much, that's like the very start of a lip roll, and then you'll eventually work your way up. Like that. And, okay, so that's such the Blake's basic one. You want to learn that one first, but if, you, but if you've somehow learned one of these other ones first, then I guess you could go from there, but the best thing to do is just to start from that first one. Alright, moving on. This one is called the, I guess it's like an elongated lip roll, which is the... Which is pretty much the basic lip roll, but you're just bringing in air into your lungs, and yeah, so... It's pretty much the exact same thing I showed you. You just keep that exact mouth position, but open up your like throat and open up your tongue and everything like that, and just let air come in your lungs. I'll probably sound like that at first. That's usually what it sounds like for people. And then you have to find the placement of your tongue that makes it deeper, like, and dropping your Adam's apple, so it's like. And once you learn that, it'll probably sound like. And you'll probably evolve from that and get those, get just find a way that works for you and it'll eventually sound better, trust me. You just have to, it's one of those sounds that'll probably take two months to master, or three months, however fast you learn. And then, if you want to get that popping sound, like... It's just, it just sounds better, like instead of just a... You just have to, um, it's pretty much that same area, just where you do the lip roll, but like... Taking a lot of air while you do that. It's pretty much that, just like an inward bass. Not inward bass, but like inward. Okay, whatever. But yeah, so it's just. And you combine that with a lip roll. And then, yeah, you can get just main beats. Like, for me, lip rolls are. I always do lip rolls in my beats. I don't know, it's just part of my beats. Okay. That's the two main ones that you need to learn first. Um, 
and I'm going to be just learning the hollow lid rule, and I'm still a beginner at it, I think, and I'll probably get it nice and smooth, but this is the way I learned. First, you have to know the hollow clap, like in the last video, <coughs> or, or if you don't know that, I mean, it doesn't really matter, but you're pretty much doing a hollow clap while doing the lip roll. <coughs> That's what you want to start out doing, and, and where you tongue lands when you do the hollow clap, like right there, and it'll start getting that thing, so yeah. And um, once you finally get that, I mean I'm still getting it, mine doesn't even sound like a... Yeah, so yeah, I mean that's, there's a lot of tutorials on YouTube on lip rules, but a bunch of you guys wanted me to do it in the comments, so there you go. <laughs> And just keep practicing at it, so, um, yeah, good luck.